Potato cyst nematode infestation is a major constraint on the British potato industry and costs us upwards of £25 million each year. The makeup of our national PCM population is changing and nematodes are moving into areas where they have not previously inhabited. In this video we will outline the extent and the characteristics of our national PCN population. To do this we will combine three data sources, the two annual statutory surveys completed by SASA in Scotland and Ferrer in England and Wales will be combined with the work of an AHDB funded PhD study conducted by Katagina Dibal at Harper Adams University. The study looks at more depth around the PCN species found in British fields and is the first to do so on a national scale since the year 2000. So let's start with Scotland. This is a survey of land where where potatoes are grown as seed crops are only planted on land certifiably free of PCN. What we're looking at here is the percentage of samples returned that tested positive for PCN of any species. Now in Scotland, growers must register fields in which they are growing potatoes each year and a selection are chosen at random for testing. On the map, with green representing areas where less than 20% of fields tested positive for PCN, we can see the focus of this growing problem is in Tayside, Fife and in particular Lothian, shown here in blue, where around half of the fields tested positive for PCN. In England and Wales, HDB supplies details of potato growers to AFA, who select growers for inspection by Ferrer. Here we can see more than 60% of sampled fields from East Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire and Lincolnshire were infested with PCN, demonstrated by the brown areas on the map. Whereas Norfolk and Suffolk remain below 40% at present, the dark grey areas here. While the picture in the southwest looks better at first glance, with the areas shown green here returning less than 20% of positive samples, it's important to note that PCN is moving into counties, farms and fields where it has not previously been found. But while we see a population that appears to be spreading relentlessly, it's also one that is changing. Here we see the makeup of PCN species in the year 2000, where a third of the land infested with PCN contained, contained at least some Globodera rostockiensis. As we move the graph onto the data compiled in 2016, this reduces to just over a tenth. The population of Globodera pallida in the sample is 89%. This is because we have effectively been selecting for Globodera pallida by growing varieties with strong resistance to rostockiensis, but low or no resistance to pallida. This shows us what a powerful tool variety selection is in the battle against PCN. Of course, there are many factors that come into play when selecting varieties, but the development of varieties with good resistance to both species of PCN that will yield well and are acceptable to each sector of the market would be a game changer for the industry. Now let's dig into the regions a little further. Now remember this is data from Katagina Dibal, the HDB funded PhD student, so it's a different set of samples from the FERA data presented earlier in the video. Katagina's work tested over 400 samples in England and Wales and found that 48% of these were infested with PCN. Here we can see that the South East, the South West, Wales, the North West and Yorkshire and Humber returned only findings of Globodera pallida. But in the West Midlands, the East Midlands and particularly in the East of England, we can see that the sample returned findings of, in the field with Globodera rostockiensis and mixed populations. So what's the message here? These findings are interesting as they give us an impression of the way population is changing. Due to the size of the survey, they're not exhaustive. The key point is that PCN is moving into new areas, new farms and new fields. Growers who may have previously considered themselves to be in a low-risk area should be sampling and testing for PCN. To help with this, we've published a new sampling and laboratory guide, which you can download or order from the link below. This is aimed at people who have perhaps haven't sampled so much before and contains a step-by-step -step guide on the best way to sample and a list of laboratories 
that conduct PCN testing. The release of this guide follows AHDB funded research on effective sampling and testing conducted by Dr. John Pickup and Dr. Kim Davy at SASA. So visit the AHDB Potatoes website and get yourself a copy and if you find PCN, remember to make a note of the species as this is important information for effective control of this damaging pest.